Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation, with a word of caution regarding Atlantis Mint. Yes, it has come to light uh, through um, Silver Slacker and International Stacker uh, about uh, Atlantis Mint's lack of activity on social media and um, communication altogether. So no one really knows exactly what is going on there, but their products are still being sold through other outlets. But through their main website, apparently orders are being placed and and they're not being fulfilled in some cases. And so some complaints have gone out. And uh, we're not sure exactly what's going on there. But uh, I thought I would share this information on my channel as well to kind of get the word out that they make uh, some good products. I have several of their products as well, uh, but even though I've never bought directly from Atlanta Smith themselves. But uh, there's um, something going on, and I hope that everything is okay because apparently Atlanta Smith is a family owned business in the United States. And uh, there is uh, um, um, some rumor that possibly they may have been sold to another company. Um, and that's a possibly could be the case. We'll see. But through a transitionary period like that, I would hope that there would be at least some announcements or maybe a pause in the sales so that orders don't get tied up. Uh, but it's something to be considerate of, not only for Atlanta Smith, but for any company that you deal with. Um, you know, especially some of these very reputable but smaller firms, things can happen. You know, with Penn Metals, when Penn Metals um, uh, closed down, it was a uh, it was kind of abrupt, and all most all orders were fulfilled. But I remember during that time and posting videos about it then that uh, people were concerned that they weren't going to get their orders fulfilled. So um, my hope is that Atlantis Mint will be able to fulfill orders or whoever they were sold to, if they were sold, and it is the case that um, uh, that orders will be taken care of customers. Uh, regardless, I uh, hope that whatever is going on there, apparently Silver Slacker um, uh, has interacted in the past with one of the owners of the company there, and uh, they have not responded to him. So I would just, uh, as a word of caution, uh, advise you for now not to buy from their website until you hear any further information or uh, you know about about what's going on there in fact if you look at their about page there's nothing here that's really tells us anything about what's going on uh, of course here and obviously nothing in the news or on on, on their own the other social media platforms uh, but that they are um, and uh, haven't been cor corresponding at least that i've seen yet but so this serves as sort of a caution a reminder um and from other members of the community have done some investigations to see exactly what's going on or what's not going on there and uh my prayer is that hopefully there's everybody's healthy there at lilanis mint and that hopefully that everything will get straightened out soon uh, I hope that if a, if somebody from, if a representative from Atlantis Mint sees this video, um, feel free to post a comment below about what's going on so the viewers will know, or contact a silver slacker um, who I think uh, knows some of the people there at Atlantis Mint. So there you have it. Just a uh, word of caution I uh, thought I'd share with the community here as well. I know Silver Slacker just posted a video and said an international stacker. But better to get the word out so people know, just in case you missed those two videos. So there you have it. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and I encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>